armor could still hop around too. It was actually um, kind of horrifying. Wow, look at this. We're headed up. Ooh, end of the King Flame. Look at these heads. They're just flowing. The head train doesn't stop. Basso, gotta click them all. Red Hole, Dark Vortex. Is that the last one? That might be the last one. Alright, you all may not have seen these yet. Um, let me show off some head. This is beta? No, this is alpha. So as soon as they do another update, I'm gonna lose all of this. And I have to basically do it again. Um, which I don't mind because it doesn't... Like, all of these are retroactive. Um, so these are like on killing bosses. Like, this one has killed a giant 25 times. I, I don't have to do that again. But there's a bunch of stuff down here. Those are unlocks that I will have to get. And that's, that's fine. I don't mind doing them. All right, so El Clasico, uh, Bobby Tarantino, Concierge Flame, Conjunctivious Flame, which honestly, I kind of like it. It's almost like emo hair that's like just going over the face. Or the lady from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, the one that has like the braid that just covers her face. My wife jokes saying that they just don't want to have to draw her face all the time. Mama Tick Eyeball. I really like this one. You combine this with uh, the Rukia skin. It's probably my absolute favorite combo right now. Like, it looks so good. Head Dev popped off. May May. Thank you, Tuna. I'm glad you knew the name and the reference. Um, Timekeeper Mask. Has a little bit of a head bob in it. It's pretty cool. Um, El Gigante Flame. Oh wow, this this actually matches really well with this skin. I had no idea. Oh, you can even see the flame kind of like goes backward as you run. It's a nice little detail. It looks like it has a little bit of a delay when I stop running though. Head Dev. I just need like one frame of difference. Just one. Who is the little girl? Um, this is Taylor's daughter. Does she have a name? I don't remember if she has a name or not. Uh, but she's in charge of changing out your hairstyles. Um, Scarecrow hat. Pretty nice. I probably won't use it very much, but I know some people will. Hand of King Flame. Hold on, hold on, let him cook. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at the drip. I don't know, that's a TRS skin. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo the, the skins tier list. That's ridiculous. Uh, servant. I'm gonna show you all this one too. You may not have seen it before. One of the golden ones is like really good with this. Is it is it just hand the king again? <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. I'm sure I can come up with something better. And this is the Timu version. That's messed up. <laughs> How are you going to go from this up to uh, up to these? I, it's a it's a downgrade. I, I, I'd rather be this all day, 100%. Uh, Queen Flame, very classic. 
ripped straight off of uh, Homegirl. Collector Hood. Combine this with maybe, um... Hmm. I don't know if there's a ton of options for... Incompatible. I was like, wait, why is that grayed out? Wait, this one's kind of nice. Hold up. Whoa! Snap! Is that legit? This is like in Guilty Gear Strive Celestial skin. I think. Unless that's just a mod. That's not half bad. Um, then we have a bunch of whole skins. These are all different colors of the same like animation here. So there's violet, red, green, blue, um, and there's also white, um, which I guess I don't have white anymore. Then there's a bunch of vortex ones. Um, these ones are same deal, but there's different kinds of challenges. Like this one is perfectly clear a biome that's like clear a map without getting hit. Um, get a bunch of heads. Flawless Torch. This one's actually pretty legit. I'm a simple man. I just put gold head on gold skin. This is like RTX on Dead Cells right here. Gonna burn up the 3090. No, we're up to like 4090s now. Yeah, sorry, I, I should mention, I think in the title we say that this is alpha now. Um, sorry, I don't have any info about when this will go to console or... or, uh, mobile. I'm in the same boat as you all. Uh, Blowtorch. This one, like, I'm a little on the fence about. Like, I love the skin here. I love the skin when you're running. But I, I think there's like a, a single frame missing from when, like, you start running and when you stop. It's like a comet. So you're seeing the tail of the comet. But technically, it's, it's like the head of the comet. Because, like, the like comets aren't really moving. It's just the... No, they are moving. But it doesn't make, like, a trail because there's no atmosphere in space. Like, there's no wind blowing the comet. So it's like the tail that you see isn't actually a tail. I think, if anything, it's pointing towards the sun, right? Ooh! Wait, this is new tech. I've never seen this one before. Hang on, let them cook. Let them cook. I I am trying to cook as best as I can. <laughs> it's like it's right there. This this is a little boosted, I'll admit that. Um I think I could come up with something a little better than this for a skin concept. But it's not bad. Demon? Yeah, I could try Demon. Uh, what would you say is a busted build that takes a lot of skill but absolutely melts? Um... I've been kind of playing a little bit of Bladed Tomfa. Bladed Tampa doesn't really melt, though. It just looks really cool when you do it. Um, there's a new legendary Bladed Tampa. The legendary version does only the first attack and not the rest of the combo. And it looks really cool. You just have to combine it with a second weapon, and I don't know what that second weapon is just yet. Wait, my head! What happened to my head? It's broken. Wait, we're back now. <laughs> Why? Why did it do that? 
All right, so this is alpha content. What you all might see today is not 100% complete. Um, there will be some things that are new. There will be some things that have changed. And my hope is that we have a really good stream today. Um, I was going to do a poll about which, uh, which color to use. Wow, I just barely saw this. But I think we're just gonna vibe through this. Are those tubes 5 BC only? You get the tubes when you beat 1 BC for the first time. And then you get to use them wherever you want. Well, you have to unlock them. Just say that first. And I think it's a decent chunk of cells, maybe like 100. Use outline. February, what color outline would you like? I'll hook you up if you give me a good color. By the way, everyone, we do have um, memberships on YouTube. Almost like a, a Twitch sub. You can help to support the channel by becoming a member. You get emotes as well. We have some really fun Dead Cells emotes that you can use on YouTube. Bright red. I never use outlines. I'm not saying that they're pointless. I just never think to do it. Bright red. Like this? Oh, Super Saiyan God! <laughs> I don't think I've seen a single episode of DBC Super. I assume this is what they look like nowadays. Wow, that's not half bad. No head outline. But it's kind of sick. Thank everyone for giving each other um, answers to questions, by the way. I do, of course, enjoy answering you all, but sometimes it's a little tough. Black would look great. I mean, I get it. I think I'm more partial to the red. I think if you need the outline for accessibility purposes, definitely go black. If you are here just for fashion like I am, you go red. <laughs> Wait, what happened? There we go. I don't get to play Trident very often. That's kind of why I'm playing Brutality right now. I saw a Trident. And I was like, it's about that time. It's just good old fashioned fun. You get the zoomies and then you just go. All right. So Promenade is incentive for money. We're looking for a skull over the a door. You'll know it when you see it, chat. Imagine using taunt ever. I feel like taunt is actually the hardest way to play Dead Cells. Like some people say curse sword is hard. But if you take taunt into every boss fight, that is the actual hard mode. Surely they will give me an incentive for curse. 
Uh, Blood Sword. Backpack it for now. That's in case we see a, um, like a dual wield option, maybe. Like a kunai or something like that. Oh, you can't parry that. Of all the things that that could possibly have, it had aura. Wow, we did not. Well, maybe it's here. Okay. So the new thing that they added was what they call curse and symptom biomes. Surprisingly, we did not get it on um, our first prison quarters. So let's go to what well, has the most options. Arboretum should have the most options. But, I mean, we have to go to uh, I mean, technically, I don't have to go to prison depths. Let's try this. See what happens. Okay. Uh, v, you had shield with bubble. Yeah, rampart, right? If you're referring to the aura attack that we had earlier, I don't know if I could do anything about it. Yeah, the biomes themselves aren't new. It's just that they get um, a little modifier added to them, basically. And we'll be able to see that modifier in action, hopefully today. Um, let's grab a quick melee. Because, like, I don't really have a plan for this build as of yet. We're kind of just waiting to see if something shows up. And then we should be good. Yeah, I don't think you can parry the Elite's aura. Um, new bio modifiers. I, I will explain it as soon as we see one. So just keep that thought in mind, and I promise. Unless I get, like, severely unlucky, <laughs> but... The devs were saying that you should get them quite a bit in 5 BC. It's almost like 5 BC got made even harder, but... It might actually be... Easier, depending on how lucky you get. It's gonna be really interesting. Double red. Harry God. Never mind. I like to take shields into this map because you can parry the mushroom boys as they're flying over to you. It's really, really fun to do. And it kind of helps you learn how to parry too because it's, it's pretty lenient on when it actually works. Like right here, I see that there's a mushroom daddy. See, I was like nowhere near the first one, and then the second one was over my head. I could have attacked that. Uh, new head skins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the start of the stream today, we actually went through all the different heads that you all have access to once the uh, alpha is released. Bonus to slow down target? And we have melee? That's kind of something. Like, that's a let them cook situation. Uh, Arboretum was where my pairing was honed. I can attest. And I don't know if those were always parryable. Because I think at one point, the uh, the Mushroom Boys being thrown at you was basically like a PNG. Almost like a missile. And it wasn't a body anymore. 
And then I think at some point they got the technology to turn into an actual, like, creature. Like, maintain its health bar and stuff like that. But that's a little bit of, like, invisible feature that we have in this game. And a lot of games could really do better with that, where it's like, okay... Just a little bit of added work just to make stuff make sense and it ends up being better overall. Celeste has a lot of that too. Where it's like you, the player, has something that's technically helping you, but you don't really know that, but the devs do. Has added features. When will this update release to mobile? I have no idea. As soon as I find out, you all will probably find out before me. I, I don't get any information before you all do. All right. Does the new curse weapon work with damn to fix? I believe so. The only thing damn does is it makes you not die when cursed. So things like Demonic Strength, I believe, still gives you the damage up while cursed. And you're double dipping, right? Wow. Kind of surprised to see this here. Um, you're double dipping because Damned also increases your damage. Alright, I would like to say... Before today's stream, I tested this alpha and I was actually playing to unlock all the stuff so you all don't have to see me do it. And I got the curse incentive in Toxic Sewers. And now all of a sudden I'm streaming the game. I'm getting jack squat. Um, I'll backpack this. If Assault Shield shows up, I'm actually going to swap. If Face Flash shows up, I, I might swap to that too. Apparently, the game has every single item available. Which is legit. Like, I, I'm open. I'm open. Yeah, that's the nice part about Arboretum. Like, there's a lot of hazards on the map, but there's so many options to you. Stars. I was hoping for a legendary, but this is fine. Yeah, War Spear is still very good. I don't really use it on Survival anymore, but I definitely use this thing on Brutality. Alright, so... Not Ramparts either. I think our last chance is Moras. No, we already saw Moras. Okay. I'm going to be extremely surprised if we get through this without a single... <laughs> top 3 build. Have you all seen the top 3 brutality build that we posted? Newly updated? I didn't want to play Face Flask, but it showed up, and who am I to say that that wasn't meant to be? The game just knows. It knows we just did Top 3 Brutality, so it may as well do the exact build from it.
Look at that. My god. Ray Pierre fans in shambles. I was even willing to use like a curse setup. For those who don't remember, this thing actually gives you crits if you're cursed. So you could go in with one of those new items that curse you. And then just use Spite Sword. All right, uh, Prison Depths. Clean run right now. Very clean. Scripted. V show controller or else this is pre-recorded content. I can't show my controller. River's sitting on it. She's like right next to me, but I can't pan the camera down either. Also leak information. One of these days I'll use laser glaive. Someone in the chat earlier said that they had a really cool laser glaive build. Ah, oh, I have this thing. Was this soundtrack? This is the Castlevania music, which is built into the game. Indulgence. Don't mind if I do. This is one of the brand new things for the update. And it's actually like super decent with a uh, cooldown reduction. Technically works with our curse setup, but we're not going to do any curse thing. I think I think we're just going to play normally. Unless something amazing shows up. Sewing scissors. That's pretty cool. I'm not taking it. A very fun looking item. Why no vengeance? Um, no particular reason. It's about to say I'm super dead. Wow. That could have been very, very bad. Alright, so the new indulgence. You see a target. You use the beam. Special beam cannon. No, more like a solar beam. It does critical hit if you are not cursed. If you are cursed, what it does instead is that it does one beam per five curse you have. Like to different targets, not all to one target. But funny enough, because it crits, it actually lowers the cooldown of my uh, face flask. I'm gonna show you that in like just a second. Another one. So I can pop face flask, do this, and you can kind of see a little bit of the timer go down. That was close. <laughs> Piccolo build. I'm like a millimeter away from killing this stuff. It's almost like a little giant whistle. A baby giant whistle. Interesting. Maybe I still had bubble. I was like, why did my uh, face flash not go off? Unfortunately, you can't... Unlike giant whistle, you can't just do it to anything on the screen. I think you have to be able to see it. But still, like, Brutality never had anything like this, like really big single target damage. 
So I think it's a lot of fun. No crits? No crits, my check. Ow. There we go. Get that thing out of here. Those things are so annoying. They aren't like bird tier. I think birds are still probably the worst enemy. Ooh. Two challenge rifts? In my dead cells? Can't be me. Gotta be pre-recorded. B's gotta be playing a, uh, a seed right now. Pulled straight from Reddit. What is this head? Um, I think they called it... Boss head? From getting all the boss cells. I never go up there. I don't even know why I tried it. Up is a scam. 100%. Always go down. <laughs> hey! Let's get the food. I'm missing infected food somewhere. Hmm. Unless I somehow ate it instantly. Nope. Close. Keep your eyes peeled. Nope. What in the world? We getting scammed? All right. Usually, you know, I, I do pretty well keeping track of my stuff in Dead Cells. So I could smell out the moldy bread somewhere. It's just I couldn't figure out where it was. I need that Tanjiro sense, which is like the fifth anime we've referenced in today's stream. Even like the base flash doing electricity around me. So good. I feel like a real gamer. Anyone else watch the new Bleach? I haven't seen a single episode of Bleach. Should I just skip the whole series and only watch the new movie? the ossuary my worry right now is that we have these um these money incentives and maybe like maybe the game only has one icon available to it and this is somehow interfering with the new icon so we're gonna go in here and we'll see if there's any um cursed monsters and that way we'll know that that's what the issue is. And then I'll finally be able to explain the whole, like, curse incentive system. So whoever that person was earlier who mentioned it, like, we're almost there. We're almost there. Doesn't opening the biome map show the curses? Hang on, hang on. Okay, I, I assume it won't really reveal it until we go through. But even then, like, do we know if the icons don't overlap? Yo, Clay! Any anime crossovers you want to see in Dead Cells? I would not mind a Bleach one, only because they have so many weapons. I know a lot of them use swords, but, like, the swords are a little different, right? Like, there could be an ice sword for that one guy. 
there could be a uh I don't know bleach I don't even know why I'm trying like just give me any anime where there's lots of different kinds of weapons that was a really delayed laser Yes, so one of the worries we had about this new skill called Indulgence is on a 10 second cooldown. And there's a thought of like maybe 10 seconds is a little long. Because it has like an animation and all of that. So like you... You're already locked into the animation. So to make it spammable has some danger there. But when you put cooldown reduction into it, I think 10 seconds is almost too short. But we'll have to see. Saitama crossplay? We already have that with uh, Tentacle. <laughs> I always have to apologize to anyone who doesn't watch anime. And they come into my stream. Whoa, I almost hit that. We're vibing. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. We didn't finish Symphony of the Night. It's a great game, but... I was trying to get through Castlevania games before the Dead Cells DLC drop. I just wasn't fast enough. Gotta work on my speed running. Okay, so here's a curse. We don't know if this is an extra curse or not. So if we happen to see a uh, second curse on this map, then we'll be in business. I like your Symphony of Night streams. We did finish Rondo of Blood, and that was actually pretty fun. If I try the low res head, um, I don't have it anymore, but yes. And I actually like it a lot. I think maybe I posted about it on YouTube. safe for kids whoa there's a mimic on this map what in the world a mask with a comically long beak someone doesn't want to get too close to other people I see a gory display frightening skull maimed corpse reversed cross purple phlegm They've got it all. These guys are real pros. I respect it. Whoa, that's that a scary alien. Yo, Lore? In my alpha? That's pretty good. Okay, that leads to a little homie. Hiding in the uh, cubby. Just in time. Um, someone asked, why do I have an extra sword? I pick up stuff in the backpack that I think I might consider using. The chance of me using it's, you know, kind of slim. Is that what they wanted me to do? I saw this side first. So yeah, like, 
I have cooldown reduction and stuff. I thought maybe I could use broadsword. Chances are pretty low I use it, but just in case. Should have let that change. Um, it's about time they moved away from insta-death curse. Now, there are games out there that have already kind of solved the curse dilemma. Because, like, you would think in Dead Cells, like, how much could you actually put in that would literally make it unplayable? Um, a good example is a game like Curse of the Dead Gods. That has a lot of different curses in it. Um, many of which actually buff the character in some way, while also being bad. So for example, that's there's one that makes your dodge roll longer, but whenever you do a dodge roll, it does like a darkness effect around you. And dark is like not good in that game. But you can make builds that are like dark focus. Y'all see that? Is that a window? Is there stuff on the window? That's like the Hitman 3 logo. Really weird. I've never seen that. Um, so like... Would I like to see something different than the insta-kill death? The answer's yes. My worry is that we're so deep and Dead Cells is a uh, life cycle um, that I don't think we can actually anticipate that being changed. Like it might even be better left for Dead Cells 2 if we were to get one of those. Rip Rally. And I guess maybe to some degree, it's like an iconic part of the Dead Cells brand is a curse that kills you in one hit. So if they were to do anything else, then it's like it ain't Dead Cells anymore. There it is again. The three bars. They're everywhere. Yeah, they'll change the curse once we get multiplayer. You might be right. We won't see a change the curse until Silk Song comes out. Karma, I guess. My bad. My bad. I shouldn't have said anything. Um, the bar V. What does it mean? It's like a little Easter egg for Ezekiel. I think that's a skateboard company. Or maybe they do shoes. I think Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 uses the same three bars. So maybe someone's just a Call of Duty fan. I don't need this. Let's just go up here to make sure there's no challenge rifts. Ooh! Legendary Hemorrhage? I think that does bleeding- wow, nice jump. That does bleeding around the target. 40% bonus damage. That is not nothing. I don't know if I'm like really prepared to use it. Oh yeah, 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 mimic. I forgot. Good point. Good point. All right. So 
if we wanted to do a mimic, what would we want? Mimicked phaser? I don't know what it's going to turn into. Not a mimic. Okay. Hemorrhage doesn't work on death. Find out the hard way. Ike, what do you think it works on then? If not death. Let's see what we have in here. Mimic throwing knife with hemorrhage in the backpack. I would love to be able to crit still. Mimicked bone. That is a lot of crit. With melee? Maybe that's legit. Okay, let's give this a try. The full dot setup could have been fun. I'm just hoping that we can get something like a little more um, entertaining, I guess. E tips on no hitting bosses. How about boss rush? I'd say on boss rush, try starting off on um, zero BC, then working your way up. We'll go to, uh, we'll go to death. Um, I mean, there's a lot of guides out there for no hits on bosses, but I feel like a lot of it's just build dependent. Like, you end up losing the no-hit because the build that you have in there is just not enough. Mistinted fragment? Really? Let's pray that we don't end the game with literally three. Aside from Dead Cells, what's my second main game? Um, so stream-wise, we've been trying to do a lot of Armored Core 6. Um, I might actually play Armored Core 6 after the Dead Cells segment today. Also on YouTube, so you all don't have to go anywhere. Um, Non-content related, I've been playing a lot of Path of Exile lately. And I was actually in a very good spot in Path of Exile, but yesterday... I, um... I changed my build, and I think I made it worse. So I'm in like a really weird spot in Path of Exile right now. You plan on updating the item tier list for Dead Cells? Yes, after top three. I just need to get through, like I have tactics top three all recorded. I just have to actually edit it together. I'm hoping to do all of that tomorrow. Yo, we spin and spin the win. Crap. Oh, wow, that actually interrupted? Okay, it didn't work that time. I didn't think. I could do that much in that fight or else I probably could have gotten a no hit. I've never been in here with bone. Level nine. That's an upgrade. Nine percent damage reduction. That's huge. What is that head? It's a good head. Do you agree? Random person, would you agree that this is a good head right here? Or is this kind of mid head? 
Does alpha version override the main version after the update? Or do we have to do it again? After alpha goes to beta, you have to do it again. Once you get into beta, the stuff carries over. Huh. I, I don't know. I don't think we're getting the incentivized biomes. I'll go bank. I was actually getting this earlier today, and all of a sudden, now I'm not. And it's random, so you don't know, like, maybe I'm just doing very good dice rolls every single time. But as of right now, we, uh, we haven't seen Jack Squat. Except for the new indulgence. I'm conflicted on this head. I should, well, I, if you were to go backward in today's live stream, we actually went through all the heads I have right now. There's some good stuff in there. Wait, what? You're streaming here as well, XD. Um, I've been trying to do YouTube live streams like every other Saturday. The folks over at YouTube have been very kind to me and have suggested a lot of times that I should try live streaming on YouTube. I was always on the fence because it's like... To me, it's almost rebuilding your brand every time you move to a new place. So I was always unsure if there's even people that would watch a YouTube live stream. I mean, you all are here today, so that means something. A matter of fact, let me kill these before I do anything else. A matter of fact, if I could get one favor from the people in the chat right now, we have... Apparently, there's like a hundred people watching, which is like <laughs> really good, really nuts. Um, but out of 100 people, there are 64 likes. And it's just like a YouTube video. You can like like and subscribe. 65. If I could get the people who have not liked the video yet to just hit the little heart or thumbs up or whatever it is on whatever you're watching. 81. That's quite a 91, quite a jump. Be very much appreciated. I believe that does help like push the stream out to all the people who like roguelikes and action games. 101 in like 10 seconds. See, it's pretty good. I, I like YouTube. Because I feel like you all are all very nice. Did I have to say that Twitch isn't nice? But whenever I go on YouTube, I always end with a smile. Don't even think about it. No, no! What are you doing here? How did that thing even get that much money in the transform? Hop. Hang on, watch this. Pop. Wait, you lived? All right, we might need a new indulgence. Mine is a little bit, uh, a little bit lacking. I don't indulge enough. All I do is play Dead Cells, Path of Exile, Armored Core. We need to indulge more. We gotta get Baldur's Gate in there. We gotta get Starfield in there. Lies of P comes out on what, Monday or Tuesday? Anyone in chat excited for Lies of P? New uh, Souls like, aka Bloodborne 2.
Looks really good. Yeah, we kind of lost a little bit of our CDR engine. I'm sure we'll get it back. Um, I did try Blasphemous 2. It's actually a great game. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it, but it's really good. Pay $10 more to play right now? It's like buy special edition for early access. I'm willing to mimic check this. Not a mimic. Rampart's another good cooldown engine, but I don't know if I want to play Rampart today. As a YouTube user, I scare to go down the Twitch rabbit hole. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. Really for me, because I've been on Twitch for so long, like coming over for a YouTube live stream, I just felt like I'm not going to really know how to do it. I still get nervous. But luckily you all helped me break the ice. How do you check for Mimic? All you have to do is click on the item that you might buy. Be warned that if it is the Mimic, it will lock in that item and take your money. So just whatever it is you're looking at, make sure you're okay with actually having it. Um, is Curse Update live? No, this is Alpha still. Oi, bruv. This is Alpha. Any good builds to farm for new items? The one I actually used today was Legendary Cluster Grenade. With the aspect turned on. Is it Bombardier? I don't remember the name of the aspect, but what it does is it gives you a, a reset on your grenade when it kills a target. We have it on our cell farming video. I have a full cell farm video made. Double cluster grenade. Um, and then I use double kunai with unlimited ammo. But now there's a better setup where it's um, the Castlevania Boomerang. It's not called Boomerang, but whatever the Castlevania one is uh, with unlimited ammo is actually really cool. Cross, yes, thank you. Is this really cool down? has the slowdown damage, which makes me want to use it a little bit more. Synergizes with our melee. You still have no idea how indulgence works. Um, all I have to do is find an enemy, press the button, and it will call down a beam of light. You do have to be able to see it, though. Um, though it's pretty lenient. Like, it can see that. But it cannot see through walls. Always get the teleport before you leave. Have I played Peglin? I have. I'm no, uh, I'm no time to grind gaming. Uh, but I have a couple hours in Peglin. Back in my day, curses were killing you instantly. They still do in Dead Cells. What's with Das Boot? I think it's good. I don't use it that much. But whenever I do use it, I feel like it was the right choice. I, 
it didn't stick to the wall for some reason. Whoa! It does an axe kick? I think the axe kick literally sends you down. And like, I can't get out of it. Uh, we'll do Celeste while I'm here. Yeah, I don't use aspects very often when I play the game, but I do use them for cell farming. There's also like some fun challenge runs you can do with aspects. Or themed runs, like this is a bleeding build. So I just have maxed out bleed stuff plus blood drinker aspect. I should have checked if I have extra jumps before I went and did that. All right, that was a good Celeste just then. Double damage death orb, no thank you. I'd rather indulge. Do I know Voidigo? I know it, but I've never played it. My ultimate goal for this channel, for anyone who uh, has been around for a while, or even like new folks, my ultimate goal was to be someone where I play every roguelike. And not just the first look of the roguelikes. Like, I want you all to come in and say, V, I, I need help in Voidigo. Can you give me any tips? And like, I'd be playing a random Dead Cells run and like, I could actually answer you with tips. Um, there's a couple games I can do that with, but my, my dream setup would be like, um, if you all know Maximilian Dude or Jorbs or people like that. Like, I just know all their games. All the roguelike games. Uh, don't need that. Uh, do you know how to get aspect? You get aspects every time you die. I think 13 deaths will get you all the aspects that are in the game right now. V, have you tried to play every known roguelike? But there are too many. Almost as rich as FPS right now. Yeah, but at least I can focus on the ones that I think are good. <laughs> Not being toxic. It's like Ashla Ascent, Skull the Hero Slayer, Curse of the Dead Gods, One Step from Eden. Ooh. Ooh. A little jump kick. Maintain the height. That was sick. Imagine using baseball bat. Couldn't be me. All right. That was not a bad bank at all. We still don't know if we're going to get any incentive maps. Abi, do you have any tips on Slay the Spire? I'm trying to climb on Defect. You're probably farther than I am in Slay the Spire. I think I'm on Ascension 9 on a defect. And then I stopped because Watcher came out. And then I was dying on Watcher and I stopped playing Watcher. I stopped playing Slay the Spire altogether when I started dying. I'm literally a baseball bat throwing knives and trap spammer. <laughs> It's not bad at all. I just, I like to tease. That's all. Wow. Huh. 5 BC enabled. Nothing going on in assist mode. I 
I don't even have floor rooms disabled. Am I just this unlucky? Yo, Lone, good to see you. Do I play Binding of Isaac? I had a time where I was spamming Binding of Isaac. I think I have 90 hours in Binding of Isaac. Um, and then I stopped. I think I stopped because I was spamming greed mode. And then all of a sudden, I... I died in a greed mode run. No, I think what happened, I was doing donation box. And then my game froze or something. And I didn't get the coins back. So I was like, screw this game. Why did I just stand there and get hit? Uh, have I tried Cave of Kud? Definitely no. And I'm not saying that I'm opposed to playing these like traditional roguelikes. Which if there's any way to like trigger traditional roguelike fans is to call their game a traditional roguelike. So I, I apologize ahead of time. But I think right now, just right now, my content is really around these action roguelikes. So I think if I were to just bust out a, um, a classic rogue or something like that, I don't think it would go very well. Yeah, I'm not doing any kind of special challenge right now besides my original goal, which was to go through every cursed incentive biome. A little late, I guess. And in this run, not a single one has shown up yet. Why are they waiting so long to jump at me? I guess I shouldn't preempt the parry. Parry like you mean it. Don't parry just because. What's the upside of getting into a cursed biome? There's a 10% chance of an extra cursed chest to show up. And I believe the weapons that are found are one level higher. And it probably looks cool because it's new content. Honestly, that might be the most important part, is how cool it looks. These burbs. Worst enemy in the game, 100%. Chat, can you name a monster worse than the burb? I assume no. That was scary. Whoa! How did you live? Shantae? Spoiler biome monsters worse? Mimic? Okay. Th these are very good responses, actually. The flying bulk monster for sure. If I can show you all the curse monsters. It's like, am I even playing on the alpha? And then I have to look at the weapon I'm using. So it's like, yeah, I am. I hate demons. I was going to make a, a Baldur's Gate 3 joke, but... I didn't play Baldur's Gate 3, so I don't know if I'm allowed to play that joke or not. When is the update going to be out? No idea. But the sooner we play it and get through all the bugs and suggestions, the sooner it can get out. 
I hate the bats with the fangs. Those are the buzz cutters. Definitely a nasty monster. I think my deaths to buzz cutters is actually fairly high. Not my highest, but definitely very high. Triple bread. We take that. How do you improve in 5 BC? I think part of it is ours. I think another part of it is understanding builds that are good or not. Because you don't really want to speed run through 5 BC because of your malaise. Like, I think that would make you possibly get hit more often. Ideally, your build should be good enough that the malaise is, like, manageable. Like, you should expect to have malaise and be surprised if your malaise is missing. So that means, like, understanding if a certain weapon maybe doesn't do very well against certain enemies or certain bosses. Um, that means maybe using a couple less healing mutations and a couple more uh, offensive mutations. It might mean unlocking more items if you don't have everything unlocked. That way you have access to like as much good stuff as possible. I think that's basically it for tips. Yo, Alex, good to see you. Turns out Baldur's Gate has nothing to do with hair loss. I think there's an amazing joke in there and I don't know it. I'm too scared to play 5BC without malaise. Are you saying that you're too scared to play with it because of malaise? Like I said, malaise, if you think about it as just like part of the game, it's not as bad. I don't know about this pick. taking it because I think I can get a lot of cooldown reduction. But as you see, I'm like not actually critting at all because they just die. Um, you need to get used to play fast so you don't get overwhelmed by malaise. See, I don't know if I agree with that. Like I think the... M oh wow, I didn't mean to do that. I think the more you play... the more you'll kind of just be faster in general. But I don't want you all to speed run. I think if you literally try to speed run through 5 BC, it won't be as good as simply like learning the game, learning better builds, learning what monsters do. But I mean, there's probably like so many different ways to go about it that Maybe there isn't like one and all be all answer. But if Susie were to ask me, does speed running get you through 5 BC? I would tell her the answer is no. All right, we got to upgrade. Dang. Um, hmm. There might be a second skill shop. Just need to kill monsters. Yeah, I, maybe that's the better way to say it. You can go as fast as you want if you can kill the monsters. 
If you're going fast and not killing them, then you are probably going to die to malaise. Well, not, I shouldn't say die, but you'll probably take a bunch of damage. If you can kill the monsters, then you can do whatever. My recommendation is to be able to kill the monsters. I do really like the cat here. Really wanted to see another indulgence, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, v, they are some useless mutations. When will they re rework them? Like the one with tactics where you dodge and slow the enemies around you. Why would you pick that when there's crow's feet? 100% agree. I try my best to find a... Um, a build that I would actually use tactical retreat. And it was, I think, supposed to be like a, um, a melee tactic setup. And they actually reworked slow. They could have taken that opportunity to make the slow from tactical retreat better than crow's feet. But I still don't think even if they made it, even if you literally froze the monster when you dodge roll through it, Maybe I would take that, because at least that gives you some options for um, weapons that do bonus damage to frozen target. But like, when you're playing tactics, you have turrets, you have possibly fire from pyro. Will the monster actually be frozen for that long? Maybe not. They did add Petrify to the game with Medusa's head. So maybe they could figure out a way to like turn Tactical Retreat into a Petrify. I just feel like that might be too strong. Ow! The freaking flash kick like I'm playing Guile. Sit me right into the rocks. Rolls melting enemies. And look at my malaise. I'm only at two with no speed running. I mean, you might look at my gameplay and say, V, you are definitely playing a little bit faster than I am. But honestly, I'm just killing the monsters and moving on. And my malaise is only at two because of that. There is some red stuff in here. And a Dima. Brand new item. Cannot use it right now. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. It's like... <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna go to Scarecrow. And it's not to say that Scarecrow's the right choice here. I just feel kind of bad going to the giant right now. I think he'll just die too easily. Honestly, I feel like speed comes in when you feel cozy about combat tech. And we did post a uh, like combat secrets video. So maybe stuff like that is where some of the speed comes in. Like it just is hand in hand. Hits from the back. The slow was better. I think I screwed myself. I actually screwed myself. Oh my god, it didn't come back? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is bull crap. Can Bat see you off screen or is that mobile only? 
I mean, I'm gonna say they shouldn't see you that far off screen, but there's probably some reasonable size. Is that reportable, though? I want to say no. I think there's a world where I would want the bat to see me and come to me. Just for a little bit of extra immersion. All right, let's chill. Biako is not letting it chill. <laughs> Biako, kill it! Get it! Biako! That's nothing to do with your cat. I don't even know what I got hit by. Wasn't I over the pitcher? I'm sad. Wait, let him cook? Let him cook? Hang on. playing with my food i was gonna let the cat have it it's like the opposite of when like the cat brings home the the mouse butt for you the owner i'm trying to give a little mouse booty to my uh my kitty cat i'm the big cat in the household i want to provide wait what is this Oh, new access to Dracula Castle. It's pretty cool. V, where did I get the skin? Well, the outfit itself is from Slashers, I think. Um, then there's an outline around me using accessibility features. And then the head is from the new update. I guess I could have done this. I am a little sad. We didn't get a single curse biome, which makes me think something went wrong. Would servants be better? I think servants might be better here. What do I like about this update? The mutations are actually really cool. What's the head called? I think it was called Cell's Head. Based off of getting all of the boss cells. No, I don't want to go shipwreck. I can't get to the, those monsters very easily without just running straight at them. And I think if I'm at Murder Bridge, it's gonna really suck. I'm surprised I didn't crit. So Biako is sitting on my shoulder. Every time I yeet an enemy, it it's gonna actually run into Biako. So like I don't really need a wall. But I think if I walk forward too far, it goes straight past me. So I have to just stand there. We'll use health pots if we have to. Am I going to play Blasphemous 2? I actually did play that already as a first look. I don't know if I can have the time to play all of it. Um, Lone, good to see you if I didn't say hi to you already. Travis, good to see you as well. Yeah, see how it just crit on my body? That's baby Biako! Where'd my cat go? What the cat doing?
It keeps jumping off my shoulder. Oh, can it not? Oh. The cat doesn't like that. Doesn't trust me enough, I guess. This kind of hits. S tier? B, I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe when you're using it, sure, we can call it S tier, but the outside of that, maybe not. Maybe not. Misery cold. AKA Straw Doll from that one good anime. V, you have referenced anime six times now. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Again, good to see everybody. Um, what's my favorite character? An entropy effect right now. I still really like uh, Lambda. It feels like I'm actually playing a fighting game when I play Lambda. I don't know why I'm looking at these. I'm not going to take anything. Let's head down maybe? What's my favorite anime? So I'm a big Gundam fan. Uh, my favorite anime is actually Zeta Gundam. I'm also 36 years old, so that might have something to do with that. Did my cat just go flying? Oh my god, I did not see that barrel. I did not see that either. Yo, double team. Alright, what are we doing? Alright. Calm down, Biako. Calm down. Oh, it's this. I thought we found the key. Alright. I like to try to get through this without the barrel. Uh, did I play Sekiro? Yes. I got all the way to the final boss and then I stopped playing because I died like 20 times. And I was like, I'll, I'll come back to this one day. And I did not go back yet. Amazing game. I just, um, I got tilted, I guess. Biako specifically asked for no stairs. That's Castlevania deep lore. Every time you go onto stairs in Castlevania, your cat jumps off your shoulder. Just like in the game. Which ending boss? Um, I guess without spoiling. You're fighting in the the field of grass. Um, you're f God. You're fighting in the field of grass. You kill the first form, and then he like transforms, kinda. And that's as far as I got. Because that's when I started, like, really dying. Great game, though. Great game. I'm bad. Like, you all don't know this about me. Um, because usually my demeanor on stream is pretty, uh... Pretty relaxed. But offline, like, if I die... In a game, I all F4. That's that's what kind of gamer I am. I advocate against that. 
But in reality, I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> Even yesterday, I was playing Path of Exile. Changed my build. Died to a tier... Like a tier 10 map. And I was like almost like ready to do. But I was like, relax, relax. It's just a game. You can only go up from there. Please, man. <laughs> Please, man, what? Oh, wait, what? How did the barrel get down there? Am I tripping? Wait, people are just falling from the sky now. What kind of Junji Ito kind of area is this? Oh, huh. That was really, really awkward. Welcome to Distillery, everybody. If you have never seen Distillery before, you are in for a treat. The barrels are just flying around, ready to get hit. Barrels in your area just ready to meet you. If that barrel hits me, all right, I was about to say <laughs> this might be a live uninstall of Dead Cells. The last stream. I remember when V used to stream Dead Cells. And have no issue. And then there was one day he went to distillery. And we never saw him again. I like to do it that way. I feel like that's the safest way. Whoa. All right. We're good. We're good. people distillery moment yeah the monsters are fine I feel like I haven't really had to deal with the monsters at all Okay. Please, Biako, don't screw this up. Nice. All right. Yo, Biako almost solo. Wait, Biako did actually solo that. <laughs> Yo, Joker. Good to see you. <laughs> hey. 
appreciate I appreciate everyone coming through um, who usually watches me on Twitch. Definitely means a lot for you all to stop by. Uh, we're going to be going to Lighthouse, so... This next one's for you. I kind of want to kill those. Whoa! Tinted Scroll Fragment. I did not see this. Uh, thank you, Mongana. Oh, Monganao? I did not see this. Alright, we gotta go the long way. I should have just left. I knew as soon as I would go backward. Well, it was just for a carrot. I should have just left, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Let's do servants. Because I think this build in particular is probably decent here. Servants are still, like, kind of nasty, but... Very interested to see how this works. We unfortunately did not get any curse incentive biomes. So we'll, uh... We will do another run after this. Some colored, not brutality. Might have to take off the melee mutation. Bring in... Bleed? The melee is not bad. But if I can like pop one of them, that'd be really, really nice. Just like that. See if we can find bleeding somewhere. Nice. That's a vampire cat. Spike boots are probably better in this fight, just to say that. Let's, um, just in case. The hand hook is not good. Let's at least make a bloody boot. All right. Clean Cut still not out on iOS. Yeah, there's actually really cool stuff in Clean Cut too, like new uh, legendaries. Good luck, thank you, I'm gonna need it. When will the update come to console? No idea. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna just activate my cat and run. Okay, got a couple hits. Kind of screwing up my gameplay a little bit. Being like overly cautious. crit when I launched her over me, but that was not that bad at all. Let's wait a couple seconds for Biako. I might have lost the no-hit.
Okay, if I can at least take her out, I'll be happy. You terp, I'm not like super worried about. Yo, Bianco killed her. Not getting the crit. I think it's okay overall. I don't think I need to swap out for Spike. Oh, I am right in her face. <laughs> My game crashed. Wait, what? Should have rolled? I, <laughs> I don't think I had the option. Huh? See if I can show this without leaking anything. This for the devs. Okay, so we do this, then we go in here, give me a window capture. Call it snip. I think it will continue, but how do I not make sure I don't get another bug? All right, devs. All right, hit him. Let's see what we got. Cold from EN Mob Amazon Brutal during chase or boss fight with sisters. Kind of Bezos thing. Amazon Brutal Behavior AI. The uh, like code name for servants is Amazon Brutal. What's the brutal part? Wait, is one of the sisters called, like, Brutal Sister, and each one has a different name? Uh, mob Fix Update, Amazon Base. Yeah, see, there's Amazon Base, Amazon Brutal. But what's, what's the third Amazon? Are we, is that the bug? We're missing the third Amazon? Devs! <laughs> <laughs> Crap. And it only showed up like the bug happened when Cleo showed up. So maybe she's the issue. All right. Let's hop back in. See what happens. My Amazon brutal expired. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Top back in. Let's see. Noel Mescaro typed, This man is autistic. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like an insult. Um, I'm going to assume that you probably don't have anything better to say on this channel. So we'll uh, we'll wish you all your all the best. Have a good rest of your day, my friend. No queen fight. If we get severely unlucky and we actually can't fight the queen with this build. I, um, I'll be a little sad. I'll admit that. Crap, I don't have my uh, cat. I think I have to run. 
Oh, I still got it off. I screwed myself. No. Chad, did I take damage? Is the no-hit still alive? I thought I got stuck in the fire for sure. <laughs> my freaking cat can't stay on my shoulder to save my life, literally. Alright, I think we're good. What do y'all think is better, the hand hook or the spike boot? Type H in the chat if you think hand hook was better. Uh, type S in the chat if you think spike boot is doing better. I, I kind of can't tell. Missile almost got me. Oh, what a good hit. What a good hit. That's a gamer right there. All right, fair. Sorry, let me just fix one thing. Just gotta let my chat reload. All right, I'm seeing a lot of S's. Okay. A little too aggro. You're still alive? On what planet? That bug destroyed my main save, probably. That's not good to hear. Now, if you're playing PC, the game automatically creates uh, backups. I think they have a tutorial on the Dead Cells Reddit. Well, at least we didn't crash. Okay, I should be spamming my face flask as I run up to get the damage reduction. You just pause when you do it. You have to be really careful. All right, big food, small food. Wait the five seconds. Support team told me they don't know how to fix that. Sorry to hear that, that you're getting a, uh, a bug issue. All right. We already lost the no hit, so I'm not like trying to dance around these things. I'm just going for the neck. I'm going for blood. Yes, yeah, good damage. Face flask. Combined with a uh, self bleed. Oh my god, are there not two? I'm down by one? And I think someone in chat said I missed a uh, fragment earlier. There's no way. Do they really only give you one fragment? That, that sounds wrong. Oh my god, I... Honestly, I wish my game crashed again so I could redo that. Alright. Him. I kind of want to cook. I hope you all don't mind cooking. Just gotta think of the right setup. Tainted flask. C 
curse flask. Demonic strength, triage. That's four. You can't use four, V. I don't think you actually get to use Tainted in here. Tainted's double damage, but I want to say that Demonic Strength is more. Maybe it only goes up to 50%, so that's 80. Maybe Tainted's better. So that's double damage. Do we really need the curse flask to do that? Maybe we don't. Maybe it's fine if we just do open wounds. I have two flasks. Vengeance. All right, this is a little weird. They did nerf infinite bubble. That's already gone. <laughs> don't ask me how, don't ask me why. It's it's already gone. Um, so instead, I'm just going to play it normal with just a simple chug and then do as much damage as possible. Need spite sword? We got rid of spite sword earlier. We did have it, though. I wish I knew exactly what spot on the map triggers the boss. Right there. Oh, I did that way too far. Oh. <laughs> I guess I should have done the curse setup. I I expected to actually get hit at some point. That's why I decided not to. <laughs> so we had a uh, double damage from tainted flask. We had 90% damage from vengeance. We had bleeding which gave us 60%. Still not enough to hit damage cap. So everyone who talks about dead cells and complains about damage cap, even I rarely see it. Damage cap, I think, is 15% on the boss, which means you would kill the boss in seven hits. I think that was more than seven hits of what we just saw. Even with like that many stacks of uh, like percent damage up and stuff like that, still not really enough to hit damage cap. But yo, that's a clean run of dead cells. I need to do a poll though. I want to do one more run in survival. Um, I know we... No, oh, no, no, no. I guess it's not showing that we're going to do armored core. But let me do a quick poll. We're going to have you all decide, is the next run going to be tactics or is it going to be survival? And then we'll see if maybe we get those incentivized biomes. All right, start a poll. Which color next? Tactics. Survival. All right, cash your votes, people. I'm going to step away for like two minutes, maybe three minutes just to get some calories and like use the potty and stuff like that. But when we come back, we're going to do the next Dead Cells run. Hopefully see an incentivized cursed biome. All right, we are back. 57% on the poll. Wrong scene. Holy, and look at all the hearts coming in. That's, um, that's React in the chat, right? 
Does it have a thumbs up? Chat, can you all give me a thumbs up if I'm doing a good job? 100? Laughs? Imagine not having a thumbs up button. What I want to do, I want to change the music. We'll do an 8 bit. So I was playing normal mode. If I get in here and there's not an incentivized option, I'm going to restart. We'll still play tactics. Um, I'll restart. And then I'm going to go to custom mode because I know we got one in custom mode. Um, let me get new head. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen, twenty-two. Chat, give me a number between one and twenty-two. Am I family friendly? I I try to be family friendly. Some jokes come out every now and then, but. <laughs> nice one, awesome. Keep the numbers coming. I need to see duplicates. I think 11's winning right now. Couple 20s. All right, let's go with 11. All right, and then... Okay. And then... Let's do this. And... Uh, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> All right, forget that. All right, tactics time. Bright purple, neon, blue. The, the blue didn't really hit for me. Yeah, there is an 8-bit soundtrack. Indeed. This is like not <laughs> tactics at all. What in the world? There was no tactics options for me. How to get hand hook? Hand hook comes from Queen of the Sea DLC. I believe it comes from a monster called the Mutineer. I promise this is tactics. Look at that. We have a double tactics amulet. That's how you know it's tactics. Jeez. Let me play the game. <laughs> what in the world? Had to duck. Who did those combat secrets? V, you're leaking information. You're telling people how to uh, make the next video. I'm almost of the right mind to main hand that Medusa head right now. That duck was Cray. Thank you, I, I try my hardest. Every stream, and again, I was telling you all earlier about my ultimate goals as a content creator, but every stream, if I can open one eye and one brain, I consider my job done. Oh, we got it. That is, that is almost alien looking. This is the Mexican alien right here. 
in Dead Cells. That's where it was the whole time. Not bad. That's a fresh reference. Wow, that like almost completely missed. So I'm thinking of a build that I don't think is going to be good. I'm like 99% sure this is going to be bad. To really use a tactic skill. There's a world where this scythe is going to do better than the build I'm about to play. Who's sending the emoji? I am. That's why you can't see my uh, controller. Because my hands are on the keyboard. Spamming emoji. Does the skull mean cursed chest level? Not specifically cursed chest level, though there might be one there. Um, I'm gonna go through the whole spiel about that as soon as we walk into it. Give me like two seconds. Maybe a little longer. Okay. Get the frost blast. This is gonna be so bad. Like you all are gonna think V, I respect your builds usually. Um, you lost all respect on this one right here. Though I had a shield somewhere, but I think I sold it. All right, so we have the new thingy right here. This is a cursed incentivized biome. This map is going to have the new monsters on it. Previously, when the alpha came out, the new monsters were just randomly thrown throughout the run. The devs decided, well, what if we tell you that the monsters are going to be in a biome? It's up to you to decide if you want to go there or not. If you decide to go there. What you're going to get out of it are higher level weapons and a 10% a bonus chance of a cursed chest to show up. You didn't know. You didn't know the thunder could do that. Um, so my hope is that we see a lot of cursed monsters and specifically we get to do this multiple times throughout one run. You're right, I didn't know. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. See, I love streaming. It's like the comments that you get are just perfect. Ooh, okay, so that was the first monster. If you kill that thing, you get a three curse. Which is not that bad, but in toxic sewers, that could be an issue. Oh, that's another one. Another one. Have I played Binding of Isaac? I have. I think I have like 90 hours in Isaac. I think I could have died just then. Um, so if a biome has a 100% cursed chest and it shows as a cursed biome, it's possible to have a second cursed chest. Yes. Which is the same way how the damned aspect works. Is you can have a biome that has multiple cursed chests beyond the one it usually has. 
And I mean, this is still an alpha, so I'm hoping that's the way it works. But that's the way it should work. Oops. I like the Hyper Light Drifter Sword. All we need now is Hyper Light Breaker. And then Wizard of Legend 2. Also Hades 2. For anyone excited, Hades 2 Q Q2 2024. Early access. I'll be there 1000%. I even at the devs on uh, Twitter to tell them I'm interested in playing Hades. sure they didn't block me on site. Who in the world is this guy? Alright, so we've been cursed, what, nine times now? Can you all keep track? Is that nine or is that six? I know we have a lot of uh, record keepers in chat. Maybe a couple of data analysts. Any tips on boss rush two? That's uh basically enhanced bosses, right? I want to say that I've been doing kind of decently in there with survival and recovery mutation. Recovery lets you get health back if you kill mon- not kill, if you hit the monster within a certain amount of time. And you get hit a lot in Boss Rush 2 as you're learning it. Um, I think going down to 0 BC and then getting some kind of build that can use recovery does really well there. Lighting in the backpack, kind of nutty, not gonna lie. I never recommend this, though. And the reason why is that back in the day, you used to be able to die with this thing in your backpack. Like, it would bug out and then just randomly decide to not turn off. And I would hate to see that happen to someone in my chat. You're more than welcome to experiment. I just don't blame me if you die. I warned you. I think it had something to do with Serenade or the Owl. For some reason, that slam made me jump in real life. If I could get lightning damage on the sword, that'd be really good. Um, but ideally, we should try to buy something off this map, because it should be higher level. This Sinu Slicer is level 7. I don't actually know if that's higher level or not, but... Hopefully we can get something cool. for the baguette because I started getting hit. Found the next monster. Straight out of Spelunky 2. Huh. The aura still got me. I didn't know that's what it was going to do. It just stopped and stood there for no reason. The amulet's higher level? Level 9 amulet? Wow, okay. That's big. That means if you go to some place like uh, the cavern, you get, what, a level 13 item? When they're typically capped at 12? 
I wonder what happens if there's a mimic. It'd be really cool if you could get like a level 16 item. I, no, it would be level 15. Because the max right now is level 14. Wait, Corrupted Prison? I... Isn't it already a cursed map? It's like double cursed? It's interesting. So... I mean, sure, but... I don't know if it has to also be a cursed map. Better item from Cursed Chest? That could be really cool. Like, that could be something you might actually use for the rest of the run, if that's the case. I should maybe save my money. No, we want to buy. Because it could also be a skill. I love to take advantage of the Lightning Bolt. If possible. These are level 9. I'm gonna greed. Sure. I, I think we could have done better. Still looks cool though. And it has the electricity synergy. Retro OST greater than default. I've had people tell me the opposite. That they aren't really fans of the 8-bit. Uh, the Dracula's Castle? From Toxic Sewers? Wait, that's kind of sick. So the new alpha also has new routing possibilities. You could go to death and not have to fight Conjunctivius. Like, if you don't really care for Chunk, Conjunk, or if you don't have a build good enough for it. Interesting, interesting. e -hole. Welcome, welcome. e -hole. that's just, like, person, right? Just a, a... It doesn't have to be a guy, I guess. Or I guess you would say e -ha. Or is it cousin? Queen's head looks sick. Yeah, chat chose this head as we went in. Good job to chat. Um, I'm gonna take this. Just so we have some other button. Uh, v side question: Have you watched the Monogatari series? The answer is no. I have not watched it. Um, I guess, like, I don't have a bunch of, I would call that obscure anime that I've seen a lot of. Hopefully that's not an insult, calling it obscure anime. I think I have to go tranquilo. The networking seems interesting, but I don't know if I'm going to get it off, really. What I actually should use? Hang on. I know what we're using. So active value pack stays. I think I actually need... Fight for your life. The wish? If there's something really good inside of the cursed chest and it's higher level? Alright, I'm taking wish. You know what? I never get to do this, and this is like the perfect time to do it. If it's like a level 10 item this early in the run, like this would be so good. 
right here another boot it's only level eight uh we'll pass das boot did i get scammed Uh, v, does Curse Flash and Demonic Strength work together for infinite damage boosts? It's not infinite. It has a cap to it. I just don't know what the cap is. Wow, second curse. I I heard on the grapevine it might be only 50%. No. I heard through the grapevine it might be 100%, so double damage. But I think it caps at 50 curse because it's 50 times 2 but I don't have like proof wow I'm cursed again send it oh my god I do not kill birds that is not good These are level 9. I have Wish. They changed Lightning Rod so that you can put down multiple Lightning Rods. Is that worth a Wish? Eh, sure. Alright, so the new Lightning Rods... You can now do four. It literally has two charges, and they're on their own timer. Kinda. That's new tech. They hired someone specifically to figure out how to put charges in dead cells. a lot of curse to <laughs> get destroyed freaking birds i swear to g swear to gosh i think i do no damage the sonic crossbow was gonna be the hit i'm cursed again oh my god i thought i was dead my heart just skipped a beat <laughs> uh since cursed mobs give you plus one level what happens if you go to astral lab i don't think that could be cursed uh, the mimic thing, we'll try to test it if we see like a bank or something, but I don't know if the bank can be cursed either. Because it's a little skull that shows up above the door, and maybe that doesn't happen on the bank. So if we go in here. Oh, I can check it this way. All right, so I think that means we have no incentive. Uh, we'll probably go to... I think Ramparts would be interesting. Get some money back. Barb tips. I don't know if I want to play the Sonic. It's just so high level. I feel like it almost be uh, an insult to not use it. 
Rampart showed up cursed on the map before. Maybe it still is? And the icon is missing. We'll definitely see. So it gave a little message there. Chad, do you all remember if there was a message for all the curse biomes? According to patch notes, there must be one non-cursed exit. So spoiler probably can't do it. Yeah, that's that's what I would expect. <laughs> Mess around and get cursed going into the spoiler boss. Jeez. Oh, big money. Yo, Tran, hello right back to you. Bank cannot be cursed. Good to know, good to know. I like the build, kinda. Like, mentally, the build's great. Physically, the build's kinda eh. Spiritually, I don't know. I don't know what the build believes in. Thor. Zeus. Speaking of Zeus, Hades 2. Q2 2024. I hope you all are ready. I'm gonna be freaking spamming some Hades too. Lightning Rods Legendary. Really cool with the charges. I agree. This is actually something I did not know I wanted in Dead Cells. New Legendary. No, is that a boomerang? Oh my god, it is. Double boomerangs. That do toxic? I think we already won the game. Like, I could actually just take a screenshot of my bill and just show it to the devs. And they're obligated to just give me ending credits. Oh my god. The blender. We're gonna swap out barb tips for networking. And then I need something in my backpack. Better than lightning. I don't know what though, like maybe Medusa head? I wonder if I could put Anathema in the backpack. That's the new item for the update. I think that might actually do something. Hokuto? I feel like Hokuto is old news. Someone in the chat was spamming Biden wake up. I feel like that's like chat wake up. If I play this, you're going to fall asleep. We need something a little more exciting than Hokuto's bow. I was about to say, don't let me lose my 60, please. Uh, enough time to dig out Hades 1 from the backlog. Said this a thousand times, but now you mean it. What a box. I'm actually trapped. You got me. Whoa, that is a worse amulet. Look at this. The dream set up right here. All 
All right, give me a weapon shop. The angles this thing's attacking from, the lightning rods, I have no idea. I can never remember which one is vertical and which one is the connector. Get this out of here. All right. This guy that plays Balance Blade Bill times 1000. Is that me? Oh, you're saying that like that's an old school build? Someone that just plays Balance, uh, balance Blade all the time? Wait, what? I forgot I had an ice bow. Yeah, it's like... And the funny part about it is I think Balance Blade is still one of the strongest weapons in the game. So to not use a Balance Blade is almost like trolling, almost. But there's so many more exciting things I can do. Uh, you all have seen me use Balance Blade a billion times. Just one run, let me use Hand Hook. Or Tentacle. Just one. I promise you I'll play Balance Blade again. I promise. Just let me play like something bad and then we'll swap to something good. <laughs> Was this really not a weapon shop? Whoa, hang on, buddy. Hang on. Jeez. There's only one shop in Ramparts? That's so weird. Electric whip in the backpack. I may as well just use the lightning in that case. It would be cool if it did, like, something special in the backpack. Like, maybe has a lower cooldown because it's such a fast weapon but i'm sure it'll be busted somehow yeah so see we were talking about learning how to deal with malaise earlier i have no malaise right now and sure the build's probably busted But I'm not speed running. I just picked up the thing that was strong. <laughs> Maybe the build's busted. I promise you, this is all skill. Uh, conjunct, conjunct. I actually thought they put a new exit in Ramparts. Uh, but I guess we're just going conjunct. Don't tell me you're not playing fast. Not gonna lie, I am trying the next game. <laughs> not anything's wrong with Dead Souls. I love playing Dead Souls for you all. I'm starting to get a little bit of uh, game arthritis. I think playing faster helps the gameritis go away. Four fifty cells. If I could donate the cells to you all in the chat, I would. Like to me, that's the ultimate, for like a chat integration. At the end of every run, we do a poll, and whoever wins the poll gets all my cells. Why does Laser Glaive Legendary get plus one ammo? It has infinite ammo. Why does it need that? It's a little bit faster attack speed, isn't it? I'll have to test it out to see. Make sure to stretch the digits. Someone asked me earlier if the uh, stream is family friendly, and I almost made it not based off of what you just said. Save me! Yo! 
Oh, this Bombard is sick. Hang on. I forgot I had Ice Bow. You can't blame a guy for forgetting his Ice Bow. It's hard out there. I woke up at like 8 a.m. this morning. Buster spit up into my sandals. And I think at this point... Karma. I think at this point, he does it on purpose because he knows it'll wake me up. So now I want to play easy dead cells because I was so stressed earlier. I need a way to like calm my nerves. Uh, we can do this. Flaming trail. I think I'm actually going to take that. I know I just paid good money for that thing, but it's fine. Crap. Oh. So slumbering can go to three places. Graveyard can also go to three. I guess I may as well go slumbering. Doesn't seem safe. Hmm. I think graveyard was better because I had better wave clear. No thinkies build right here. Exactly. Now to be fair, I did not wish the boomerang. The boomerang wished me. Oh, here we go. Look us up, fam. Let me get a Medusa. What else would I want? I wonder if Barrel Launcher would be okay in the backpack. Anathema would also be decent. I always try to go to bank if I can. It's not always the right choice, I can tell you that much. Um, but as the streamer, I would like you all to see the bank and why it was not the right choice. But no, this is fine. This is fine because we're big. We're huge. Look at the money. Look at the income. Residual income right here. Oh wait, if they get too close, I can just use Frost Blast. Why am I using the dodge roll button? What would be a Sasuke build? So, Chidori is lightning, but I don't think it's the lightning bolt from Dead Cells. I feel like Electric Whip would be closer. But what I actually think it is... is Wings of the Crow with Tentacle. Um, cause Wings of the Crow actually gives you lightning on your, um, your melee attack. On all your attacks, really. So what you can do is you can just land on the ground. And then that's Chidori. Right? Because it's punch. And then someone said fire blast. That's Colton. No, Colton, right? No, it's Katon. K A T O N. Whoa! What on earth? Am I dead? <laughs> that was calculated. I did that on purpose to come up here. Mm. 
Why was this thing just walking around? Just a random tier 3 gold gorger. With nothing better to do. Self synergy. Sorry, one second. Why is fire no jutsu a banned phrase? I am so sorry, fumes. You got. Timed out for saying either fire no jutsu or mimic time and stream elements did not like that um, I, I'm sorry I mean technically I can use both but Really hard, because Star took too long for me. You're saying too long for the damage to come from the sky? Is that the idea? This should be strong. I honestly would say that this is probably the right choice. Unless you really want to play the boomerang. Which is also the right choice. And everything in this run's right. Don't ask how. It's just everything has basically fallen into my lap. Now, what's going to be funny is if I die right here, I'm going to say it wasn't Star Fury's fault. It was a skill issue. I have Frost Blast too. What's the fastest weapon in Dead Cells? Tickle Tech? Morning Star, if you just tickle with it. The super safe way. How do you get that purple head? That's the new alpha. This head is brand new. Fresh off the presses. Um, we were playing a different head earlier too. If you are like just now coming into the stream. We did a full head showcase. We showed some four heads and some five heads. Actually, we did not get a very good Star Fury. I just realized. Because it doesn't have the victims. No, it doesn't have shoot an arrow up and forward. So we're missing out on some damage here. I'm actually going to swap back. Because, like, I would have to actually re-roll it to get shoot an arrow. And that means I'm just going to lose the self-synergy anyway. Bro, I got to play again, but I got midterms going on. It's September. It, how is it midterms already? Didn't the season just start? Mr. V.me, I go to school in a country where we learn 24-7. You don't just have a vacation in the summer. Already midterm. When do you get a break? That's messed up.
What was that music right now? The music in the elevator? That's part of the 8-bit soundtrack. Wow, I could have gotten hit there. I was about to say, that's a tier 3 for sure. Yeah, you stay right there. I didn't realize I could just use Frost Blast. V, which is better, Katana or Curse Sword? I mean... <laughs> depends on how much you want to punish yourself. fine how do you get lightning rod this is fractured falls most well, fatal falls fractured shrines i don't know what monster though off the top of my head Am I missing a Mimic check, by the way? No, I never saw the shop here. All right. Yeah, like, I like Katana, but... I wouldn't say Katana's a game-winning weapon for me. It's a fun-winning weapon. Like, I win fun. With the people watching. I don't necessarily win the game, I feel. I should have done survival. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted. But how can you not do that? Wait. Oh no, I... Alright, I'm so sorry. When I said that this was all skill, the skill is about to get removed from the game very, very soon. We're gonna go and grab ammo mutation, and then any resemblance of skill is gonna be gone. Tell me ahead of time. Ah, oh, little buddy. I got literally five dollars. Don't do that at home, by the way. Only trained YouTubers can break the piggy bank. If you break the piggy, the piggy bank on your save, you'll probably lose it. And I don't want to see that happen to you. Why? Karma? B teaches us how to win easy as tactics. I am working on um, top three tactics. It's basically done. I just have to do all the editing. I have all the voice done. I have all the runs um, saved and recorded. I even have the b -b bonus content done. I just have to do the actual editing part. Which takes about as long as literally recording it. Bomb only, no mutations run. Bomb only. What's the bomb? Like, powerful grenade? Infantry grenade? Something like that? Or are you saying dodge roll bomb? Which I don't have right now.
yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes to which one? Hi V, thank you so much for the top three brutality builds. I hope you get my first 5BC one today. Yo, pig, which build did you use? For 5BC. Congratulations. Can we get a can we get a W in the chat? For pig? First time 5BC Winrar. The wish kind of screws this up. Maybe I don't need the Acrobatty pack. We'll run this for a little bit. Alright. You all may have said the ammo mutation, the most useless mutation of all. This needs to be buffed. It did get buffed. Uh, your version of Dead Cells might not have it yet. I think mobile doesn't have it yet. Um, ammo mutation now works with Boomerang. Just like it used to. A matter of fact, one of my oldest 4BC videos, back when I was in 4BC, maybe back when 4BC was the highest difficulty, I posted a video called Top Build in Dead Cells. It was survival, double boomerang, because you could do that back then, ammo mutation with corrupted power. Corrupted power also used to be survival back then. Um, but now we can do this. We can have five boomerangs, thanks to one of them being legendary. Crap. Clock Tower. Timekeeper. Dracula. Timekeeper is going to be, like, much easier to do. Bosses aren't gonna melt. Yeah, I guess to be fair, whatever boss I would go to would probably be an easy clap. So I took the cross for my backpack. I, I don't think we need a backpack. That's nasty. Five rings illegal. Rip ears. Yeah, we're gaming. Top five most difficult games of all time. We're cooking. What's the boss going to do about that? Oops. Like, you're just a zombie. Walking down the hallway. What are you supposed to do? There's freaking five blenders just running at you. At max speed. Technically six if you want to count the cross. What are you supposed to do? If I were the zombie, I just pull the lag switch. Just rip the internet right out the wall. We're not doing this anymore. Go straight to GameStop, get a refund. Game sucks. You got people out here rocking five boomerangs and I'm just a zombie. <laughs> With nothing to do. Rusty sword, no other items. My only issue with that is if I were to show it on the stream, I think people would fall asleep. I think that may be on like, possibly too boring to watch. As a personal challenge, sure, it's probably great. Um, I don't really play a lot of Dead Cells offline because I always feel like you all are gonna miss something. Like, look at this build right here. If I got this offline and didn't show you all, I feel awful. Jeez, it did actually show up. 
It's like in the rare case that Timekeeper actually can play the game. Does not really help me against Dracula. Oh. My one enemy, Bells. The only thing I can't stop are Bells. Actually, I should have gone to Hypey Castle, I think. Through maybe Scarecrow? That way we have more chances for Cursed Biomes. We got cursed quite a bit today. I don't know if Dracula is gonna be easy. Oh, he's gonna be easy, all right. Famous last words, of course. Dracula can't stand up against the blender. I refuse to believe it. Crap, I should have done survival. Oh yeah, you can't backpack it. That's right. I almost thought we had something cool going. Most scrolls I've had is 53. Can I have that kind of luck? Did you buy lottery tickets after that? I hope you did. dodge roll I did was kind of sus. Okay. The build's probably going to stay as is. Uh, you looked at that axe with deep thought. Yeah, you all don't know, like, every time I play through Dead Cells, I'm actively engaged mentally and spiritually about what I'm gonna do. And sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. Sometimes I do stuff specifically to just mess around and see what happens. Sometimes I die for that reason. But you know what? If I'm dying to that, I don't mind. Oh my god, I didn't even bother trying to avoid that. I just jumped straight up. If that hit me, it would have been so deserved. Wow, is that it? All right, I guess we'll leave. Twenty six chat is twenty six tactics. Good. Why in the chat? If that's a good number in the chat of V, you probably skip some scrolls. I regret to inform you. Just pack it up. I know you said you already won the game, but your scrolls are too low. Just go next. I don't know if I really need the acrobatic pack. We're gonna keep it for now. But I kinda wanna bring in networking. Maybe I don't even need networking. Everything seems to be dying just fine. I think 26 is fine. Tell that to Timekeeper. Does she think it's fine? Does she think 26 is fine? Not enough. I need 53, like the person in chat saying. 
Yo, meltation. Oh, I kind of want the wave of denial. If I'm going Dracula, I'm taking this. All right, now, I know I kept saying I'm gonna go Dracula. I, I kind of don't know if the Dracula's castle shows up in this next room on every other map. Oh, I guess we don't have an incentivized biome. Hmm. I'm just so curious if it will still have Dracula's castle in here. Yeah, if we can't go Dracula, we'll just go spoiler. Which is perfectly fine. Again, big thank you to everyone tuning in today. Legendary. Applies a random effect on hit. It could randomly freeze. It could randomly do networking. It could actually do a lot of stuff. Bonus to poison. It's like one little baby gambit card in there. <laughs> okay, so... Distillery as a bonus curse biome. Dracula's castle is actually here. So if you don't go in, you can still back out. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh top deck? What's a good top deck nowadays? Feels like you don't want to top deck into like a Max C or something. You want to top deck into like a one card combo and I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh enough. I feel like I need fight for your life if I'm gonna go through here. The wish is screwing me right now. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm a little afraid for my life. I have no masochist. I have no disengage. No fight for your life. I have 7,000 HP and that's it. Like one single bomb hit my big toe and I'm dead. Yo, do skin? What is this? I feel like I've never even seen this before. God. careful today I want to see a flawless distillery no mistakes also don't forget there are cursed monsters on this map there could be a cursed chest on this map I think it would have been that chest if there was one so he may have already dodged the bullet there's one Am I lagging? 
Oh no, this thing curses you automatically. Please. What a terrible map to be cursed repeatedly. What are the cursed monsters? Um, so that first monster you saw, um, what it does is it gives you three curse if you kill it. And it chases you. So you can't simply outrun it. You do have to deal with it eventually. I think maybe Wave of Denial killing it won't curse me, but... Have a tough order. What am I looking at? Oh, yeah. Hang on. I think I need extra jumps to be able to do that. And I don't have it. Closer? God, I'm like right there. Can I just go up the left side? Sweet. Oh crap. No, we're fine. We're fine. We do this. Oh baby. We're in there. <laughs> this is 25 BC. I forgot. The curse incentive, I can't customize at all. But if there was a world where you could, that'd be some really high, like, BC stuff. Like, if you could double the amount. What is that Oven Knight doing? The Oven Knight's pushing the tube to me. You all see that? Ain't no way. That's not legitimate, right? Oh my god. I have 27 tactics. There's no way I cleared all of the scrolls on the map. I'm so far behind. My life just flashed in front of my eyes. I just saw the day Buster was born. I just saw the breakfast I had this morning. That could have been really, really bad. Why? Why in the world did that aggro me? <laughs> Jesus. This is this is pretty stressful. Just to say that. Why is there no teleport? You're expecting me to walk all the way back through this? Okay, that's a shortcut. I guess this is a shortcut. Even with the shortcut, I don't want to do this. Alright, someone said that I only missed one scroll. I sincerely hope you're correct. I'm about to just leave. NGL. Not gonna NGL.
What an awful place to be. All right. New wave, level 12. Catch that new wave. This better not be a cursed chest. All right, I was about to say. So it's a 10% chance to get a cursed chest. And I think we just rolled both die. Crap, there's a stars. We gotta get it. Someone said there's only one scroll left. I hope that's it. It's not even purple. What happened? V, you said this was the easiest build in Dead Cells. Can you still win at 28 tactics? More health. It's 12,000. And that's, that's a good amount. Could be worse, of course. We could be literally glass cannon. Thought something spawned on me. I should just leave. Oh no, there's a little cursed kid! Where is he? He's gone. Something else must have killed him because I didn't get cursed. Okay, that's big. That's more health. We're at 12, 8. Chat, we're scaling. Who's 29? We're ramping. The end is near. Grumble. That better not aggro me. I swear to gosh. Fragment. I don't need it. You don't need it. You're fine, chat. You're fine. It's bait. Don't even think about it. Five thousand is not not enough, right? That's troll. Don't do that. All right. So now we just need to walk all the way back. All the way back. I didn't clear the malaise either. Yeah, anathema for the backpack was my thought. Just because, like, I haven't done it yet. Wait, I thought this was a shortcut. You can't even use it. <laughs> no way. That's messed up. It's a one way shortcut. Why am I going lighthouse? I thought we said we were going spoiler. My bad, I, I forgot what I was doing. I had streamer brain for a second. For anyone who uh, streams, you know it. It only takes you half a second to forget what you were gonna do. 
how do you unlock the scrolls at the shop? That is actually from the graveyard. Go through graveyard and there's a special key there. Um, inside that is what they call merchandise categories, which is what we're using. All right, I kind of want to see... Oh, I do, Pierce. Interesting, I feel like I haven't really gotten anything from the cards. All right. Hand of King! Does Hand of the King care about our boomerang build? Maybe this is still not good enough to beat Hand of the King. He's pissed. I love the laugh. Nice block. Um, I've seen melt here. Just to say that. Still good though. Nice, we got the bonus damage from the zombie. explain what happened I was a little too full of myself thought that was basically a GG why is the game hard I know I say that every single day crap man you had one job no not that I would know what I would actually want from there Just go straight through. We don't have to think anymore. All I have to do is hold the button square and triangle. I had to look down to see what I was using, which is an Xbox controller. With 53 scrolls and the spinny thing, I have screenshot 2 billion damage. Wow. Love to see it. I'm still trying to beat 2BC. No, 2BC is hard. The only reason I'm doing well here, A, I have a busted build. And B, I have a lot of hours in the game. Apparently not enough hours. And then it just dies. Why even bother hitting me? again <laughs> fool me once shame on you fool me three times never fool me again you're stun locked on 2bc i do have a guide out there but i think a lot of it is um like making sure you go through the biomes to get all the scrolls. I think there's still people out there who like speed run through biomes and end up having less scrolls. Honestly, if we if we were to get a Dead Cells 2, if they decide to keep a scroll system. I would love there to be like some way that you would never actually skip a scroll. Like you will always see the scroll on the route to the exit. Or like you get scrolls always off of enemies. Something like that.
Don't even try. That's bait. Shields help for 2 BC? For some bosses. I wouldn't say all of them. But if you're still trying to get through Timekeeper, I would say Shield probably helps for Timekeeper. But it doesn't even have to be that you like are a parry god. You can hold the button down and reduce a lot of damage you would have taken from Timekeeper's uh, Shuriken. Combine that with something like Vengeance. It ends up being like a pretty decent setup to keep yourself alive. Hooray! A key is here for me. I don't think I've ever seen the lower room at the top. It's pretty cool. He's moving. Sadist stiletto cheese. Sadist stiletto cheese? What's the cheese? Is it like open wounds with phaser? Or is there something else cool that you can do? I always love hearing you all's build ideas. Because chances are it'll be something that I never thought of. Wow, that would have been really bad. What the bird doing? Brutality, open wound, status, stiletto helped a lot running a shield too. Yeah, phaser helps with that too. Because phaser applies the open wound before you even um, slash the monster. It's going well, if I do say so myself. It was scary for a second with the Shantae. That's the uh, flying genie. But I think we're over it now. Could also buy food if I need to. Tactics builds with bows or repeaters. Any tips? You're stuck in 3 BC. Um, I think bows and stuff are fine. I think repeater crossbow got nerfed a little bit on the Y button. Still, you can win, but maybe not as free as it used to be. Definitely make sure that you're rolling for pierce target. Sometimes a bow that doesn't have shots pierce is borderline unplayable. I think maybe a big part about bows is making sure that you reroll the affixes to get what you need. Because if you don't, then you just have a vanilla bow. And it's so much worse. Is there an affix to pierce all? Yes, but it's starred, so that means it's rare. Some legendaries will get it automatically, but you can't count on that. Wow. I just walked up there and got pecked. Jeez. All right. Let's get the food. Peace out. I don't think there's anything I can really get from the shop that will help me. I think it was a weapon shop, right?
I'm not going to see Medusa. Oh my god, there's not a single bow in there at all. I got scammed. I scanned myself, most likely. Oh crap. What's the best brutality build? I'd say check out the top three brutality builds we posted, like that video. One of them is pretty strong, but I'm not ready to call it the best one. I'd say it's just very strong. Medusa isn't a skill though? No, I would replace the cards with Medusa. Oh. Oh crap, that was a skill shop. See, my brain is turned off. Once the second boomerang showed up with the enemy mutation, the brain went doop. See you in 30 minutes. All right. Um. Can this get any stars? Double damage. Um, is there a world where the card is not very strong and we swap it out? I probably need to survive. And then give me ammo. Actually, I, I think I'd rather have triage. I have enough money for another reset. Alright, so triage. Ammo. We are no longer using a tactics mutation at all. Um, I could have done something like point blank, tranquility. Support doesn't work. But there were a lot of options. I decided, you know what? Let me just not die. Alright, this is the final fight. This is spoiler content. If you don't want to see the spoils, back out now. I assure you this will be a really good fight though. So you might want to stick around, I don't know. Uh, either way, we're hopping in. 1,000 cells donated to charity. I haven't played Dead Cells in a while. Maybe I should have taken my Switch to college. I mean, you want to focus on your studies too. Maybe it was better this way. If I played Blasphemous, I did do a first look of Blasphemous 2. But I don't know if I'm going to finish it. No shield, by the way. Double sip. Could not get the triple sip. that aha but I can do it now no I can do it now it's bull crap <laughs> Yeah, that was an Elden Ring delay right there. <laughs> All right, my bad, my bad. So they actually nerfed the ability to get emergency triage um, as quickly as we used to. I used to just drink every single time the laser beam would come down. Apparently you can't do that anymore. Why did it get nerfed? It, v, you literally said you used to spam it and 
not have to deal with the mechanic, I have nothing to do with that. It, it got nerfed for some completely other reason. I have nothing to do with it. Oh, you did this anymore. No. Get him out of here. That was not half bad. We went through toxic sewers, prison, no, corrupted prison. We definitely had a, not hypey castle, distillery. Was there any other cursed map besides those three for those who remember? Toxic sewers, corrupted prison, distillery. Was there one in between that? I'm going to say no, um, but out of the three maps, we got cursed like bare minimum nine times each. So that's another like math majors, uh, nine times three amount of curse. We did not get an extra curse chest, only 10%, but we did find high level gear. But nine times three amount of curse, that's like kind of nasty. And that's on the low end. Like it could be more than that. I think we just got unlucky. I don't know if you call that unlucky or lucky. When does this update come to Switch? I don't know. What I will say is the change that added the cursed areas, like that's brand new. So maybe, you know, let it cook a little bit you don't want this thing to go to your switch and then it ends up being trash but i'd say right now i'm pretty confident with what they have i think misericord is like a little bit scary to use i think you get cursed quite a bit the heads are great like this kind of stuff look at the uh, princess bubblegum head Hey, hang on, hang on. That doesn't work. Like, look at this. I think these are top tier. Like, if they had an update just for head, I think it'd be fine. Um, how do we unlock more? This one came from Killing Worms, I believe. And I know a lot of people use outlines and stuff like that. I think this is a new way to kind of like distinguish yourself from everybody else. Your buddy next door might be a, a bobby head user, but me, I'm a princess bubblegum. But yeah, that was Dead Cells. Fantastic game. Round of applause. Chat, could I get one more thing from you? Can I get you all to spam the reactions? Is there a clap in here? No, there's a there's a this thing. Can we get some reactions for the devs? Big thank yous to them because this was honestly round of applause. Ten out of ten update, hundred percent. Um, and this is just alpha, so it's not even done. It's just summon biters. Okay, cool. There must be a different one for worms then. Wait. Wait, this head is sick. Oh my God, with the bubbles around it. Whoa. Hold up. We can do better. Hold up. Is that sick? It's the dead guy, the cells guy. They finally got him in the game. Oh my God. Even the spam looks really good. I think that's the only new one we got. Wow. Okay, this one's called boss cell. This was what we used earlier today. Still a big fan of the emo hair. Wow, round of applause. Devs. You knocked it out of the park once again. Couldn't have done a better job myself, and I don't have any experience with coding. I'm just a gamer who likes to say that they know everything about developing a game.
Yo, that's Super Saiyan Blue. I like it. I like it. All right. Um, I think we're gonna end it here, though. Honestly, like, I was going to play Armored Core after today's stream. I'm very hungry, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Um, I do appreciate you all tuning in. I hope you liked the Dead Souls segment as much as I did. Always a pleasure to play for you all. If I can ask you to do one thing before we close out. Uh, right now, this is a YouTube video, just like a regular video. You can like and you can subscribe. If you can like the video before you leave. It's at 187 right now. If I can see 200 likes, 13 people. Just 13 people who haven't hit the button yet. Buster would love me again. I'll even do, I'll do a Buster reveal. We're at 194. If we can get six, literally six. Um, I just have to turn off the uh, automatic armored core stream. Sorry, one second. I guess I can probably just cancel the redirect. Yeah, there we go. All right. 207. Now Buster will love me again. I don't know if he'll let me pick him up. Oh, he heard me talking about him, so he already knows. He's like, what? 207? Hold up. Hold up. He's yelling at me. He was yelling at me. I didn't even do anything. So yeah. Very, very good stream today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, the... Both builds today, Giga Busted. Don't know how to make a build even. I think I'm yelling in his ear. Um, I don't know how you can make a build any better. Sick. Be the build sick. I know, I know. I worked very hard on it. Um, other than that, like, I can't say the next time I'm live. Oh, you can follow on Twitch. Uh, we stream live on Twitch very, very often. Here is the link to my Twitch live stream. I think it's also in the description of the video. Feel free to follow here. Um, we're also on like Twitter, Discord, YouTube, you're already here. New videos every single week. I think we're playing Lies of P on Twitch on Monday. Um, otherwise, you all have a good one. I'm gonna go eat, hydrate a little bit. Yeah, he's going back in <laughs> his cat tower, jeez. Uh, you all have a good one, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.